together with Tate are hosting today's event. Uh, thank you very much for having us here. Uh, my name is Kasia Rezuš, Senior Curator at Tate Liverpool, and it is my real pleasure to welcome you to this uh, talk. Uh, within the second or third trip, uh, friends of mine had invited me out for lobster rolls, which is what you do in Maine. You go eat lobster rolls. And they were saying, by the way, you know, these are my white friends, and they were saying, by the way, Theaster, since you're black, there's this island, you know, that is, you know, that is a kind of mythic island where we think uh, mixed race people lived and like black people lived, and, and something happened, turn of the century, and the governor, I don't know, somebody kicked them off the island, and they, I don't know, and there were a lot of gaps, but it was super interesting. So we got on a big boat, and uh, we headed toward our lobster rolls. As we were pulling in, backing the boat in, my friend said, that's that island I mentioned. And uh, I saw Malaga for the first time. And uh, while I was there, there were, um, you know, it was a beautiful island. I said, well, let's go to the island. But there's no landing dock, so there was no way to actually get on the island's ground, especially in the size boat that we were in, maybe in a kayak, but, but not in a big boat. So, so immediately there's this myth and the island is inaccessible. So I'm like even more excited <laughs> because I can't get on the island. The island's not available and the, the island's not been available to people since 1912 when everybody was, uh, kicked off, excommunicated, is what I was, but it ain't even that deep. It was the, by state mandate, they were evicted from their home. Part of the reason I think they were evicted was because when, when future tourists would boat by and they're fly fishing, you could see a person from Malaga uh, from the edge of the, of the island. And I have a feeling that um, the governor and the state and the department, the real department of tourism, fisheries, wildlife, that they didn't want to look at mixed race people or black people because it was still an abomination it was to look at mixed people. You could, it was obvious, you know, they had funny hair, different skin. They definitely weren't black like the niggas in the United States at the time. And they definitely weren't white like Mainers, they were in between. And uh, this is the travesty of slavery, that we would create these mutants, these synthesized islands. And there was all this language about um, how the very face of a mixed race person uh, demonstrated a kind of failure in the systems of slavery and in state legislative governance, LA, you know, someplace that's already just liberal because they just liberal. And then it's like, oh, we're going to add some black people to the mix? That's interesting. But it's like, it's like the mix, is, it, it gets a little fetishistic. Like even in Chicago, black people are cool as long as they make more money than white people, as long as they're entertainers, as long as they like add a little life to the table. You know what I mean? Then we want those kind of black people present. But just like normal, like this brother got on all yellow and orange and shit. We want you at the party, bro. You know what I mean? You are bringing it. You know? But, um, but, it, but, but I often struggle with like, man, what constitutes value add? Who do I have to be in order to be invited to certain tables and so on? So I'm always thinking. Like, if I don't announce myself when I come into a museum, I get to see how normal black people are treated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Around the, around, the, around the world. And sometimes it ain't nice. Or at the airport and all that. But then if it's like, oh, this is the case, it's like, oh, that's that special Negro from America. <laughs> you know, he's great. And sometimes I have to walk in and shake hands with my entourage and say, I'm Theaster Gates. Thank you, it's great to be here. So they know, don't treat me like no ex-slave because 
don't think that we still have that mentality. I'm an eighth black. I can just say I'm black. Right. And ain't nobody gonna say like, nigga, you ain't black. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But I'm an eighth white, let's say. <laughs> like this, the black that, the black chapel, the black archive, the woo, booty woo, black Madonna. I was like, can't you think of another thing to freaking talk about besides color? He was like, man, you don't own this lot. Ain't no conversation. Get this shit off the lot. I'm going to buy it. I'm buying this land. And it, and it was like, and all of a sudden, just the privatization of the land, the, 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 the act, the purchase was $5,000. The fine was 